Big Buddy Wolf's support on his hand, Dave is Friday, October 5th, for a tough story of muscular reporter Tom. Thanks, Hayden. The top story today is the upcoming Thanksgiving long weekend and what everybody's going to be doing for it. Let's take a look. Okay, so what are you planning to do over the long weekend? I uh, love, love again to have a cabin. Oh, you're going to a cabin? Uh, yes. Who with? Uh, I'm with my girl. Just a tea. Nice, nice, nice. And what might your plans for the long weekend be? This long weekend, I'll uh, probably go to EB Games, have Thanksgiving dinner, and probably go see a movie. Ah. Nice. Any particular movie you want to see? Either Let's Go with Kevin Hart or the new Venom movie. Hmm. Okay. What might your plans for the long weekend be? Well, turkey, gravy, hot potatoes, and pumpkin pie. That sounds good to me. So, what are you planning to do over the long weekend? Go visit my mom and sleep. Go visit my mom. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. What are you planning to do over the long weekend? I want to see my big brother. Which is... Coming. Just go dinner. Okay. And what are you planning to do over the long weekend? I'm going to play with beer. Oh, that sounds very good. And what might your plans for the long weekend be? Uh, I'm going to camp with David, Michael, me. Oh, that's great. Well then, my plans for the Thanksgiving long weekend was just to chill out, relax, not really do much. That's kind of my thing, thing, I guess. Well, that's all for the top story this week. Back to you, Hayden. This was a great story, Tom. Let us go to our shows. Hey, everybody, welcome to Sports Bite. I'm your host, Sam. Yesterday, the Los Angeles Dodgers played the Colorado Rockies, and they won five to two in the uh, top of the ninth, and five two was the final score. See you next time on Sports Play. Word. Welcome to Kicking It With Karate. I'm your host, Shannon. This might be like a white belt level move, but I'm going to show you anyway. It's called a punch. Or, and I might throw in a front kick. This is a punch. You don't want to have your wrist too loose. You need a strong fist. So, this is what it looks like if you have a loose wrist. Your goes like that if you have a too loose of a wrist. You want to have a strong wrist. Strong. And if you want to push someone away with your feet, just do that. Only use them for self-defense, not if you want to just get your anger out. You use that on a punching bag or kickstand. So, 
self-defense purposes only. So see you next time on Kicking It With Karate. Bye for now. Yo, everybody, you, you would have hip hop dance. The dance meals, it was really good. Go check out. Bye for now. Hey everybody, welcome to Joke to Week. I'm your host Sam. This is David. Yo, what's up, bussies? A, a gra grasshopper walks into a bar, waits what? for the bar bartender's assistance. I don't and, know. And then the bartender says, What? You have a, we have a drink named after you. I don't know, Sam. I don't know. And then the grasshopper says, What? You have a drink named Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> See you next time on Joke of the Week. Peace out. Bye. Hey, welcome to What You Watching. I'm your host, Shannon. You know the show Charmed back in 1992? Here I was born. Well, they rebooted it, and it's coming out October 14th. It's about three sisters, well, now it's cousins, Mel, Maggie, and Macy. They suffer a shock when their mother dies suddenly, but before they have time to heal from their loss, another surprise shows up on their doorstep in the shape of an older sister. Brilliant Genesis, Macy, whom their mother never told them existed. The emotional stress takes its toll and the girls begin to exhibit impossible new abilities. An, ex an, ex an exclamation, exclamation, an explanation comes from an unexpected place. The new chair of the Women's Studies Department, Harry Greenwood, reveals that the three are powerful witches, the charmed ones. And here is their white lighter. There to advise them, guide them, and stay by their side during the battle of dark forces. Now, if you like shows like this that have to do with magic, witchcraft, hocus pocus, then this is the show for you. See you next time on What You're Watching. Bye for now. Hello and welcome to Interesting Facts. I'm Tom, the host. Today's interesting fact is about sand dollars. Round things, you, you've probably seen them on the beach many, many times. They are actually living in, in, in animals, which, which you probably knew. They're also a species of sea urchin, which I'm sure is also very interesting for those who didn't know it. Anyway, that's interesting facts. I'm Tom, and I'll see you next time. Hey, welcome to Beats. I'm your host, Shannon. Tonight at the Queenie, we have Jerry Seinfeld performing at 7 o'clock p.m. And we also have Jean Michael Blaze performing at St. James Hall the same night at 8 o'clock p.m. here in Vancouver. See you next time on Beats. Hey everybody, welcome to Redder. 
I'm a host, David. Saturday, Sunday, I'm a drug. Sunday, Sunny. Bye for now. Hey everybody, welcome to the Rebel Squad. I'm your host, David. Samuel. Here. What movie do you want to watch? I saw Predator. How, how was it? It was awesome. What was the favorite part, Sam? And I saw it on September 30th. On Sunday, September 30th. My favorite part is all the action. Awesome, Sam. Just a little bit. What's up? Hey, everybody. To the Rubber Squad. I'm your host, David. This is Anne and Noah here now. Hey, Mom. So, what do you see? Little foot. How is it? Good. What's your what's favorite part? Little foot fight and. Alright, this is awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. This is Ruby. What's up? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Sister. I'm Sister. I'm just Bye for now. That's me!